Welcome back to a guide to pen testing. In this episode, I'm going to be covering some of the issues you guys have been having with the domain controller, more specifically connecting clients to the domain. The reason this issue is happening is because the clients are unable to get the IP address of the domain controller. For example, if you were to ping demsec.local now, you'd probably be unable to access it. So I'm going to show you a number of changes you need to make which will completely fix that issue for you. Open on my computer now, we have both the PFSense machine running and the domain controller. As you can see on the domain controller, I've opened up the web interface of PFSense. The default credentials are admin and PFSense. Because I've already logged into this, it's not going to offer me the wizard again. If you get the wizard, you're completely fine accepting all the default options and then continuing from where we start here. So what we need to do is change the default DNS server to our domain controller. So there's three different things we need to do here. The first one, we're going to go to the system tab and go to general setup. As you can see here, our DNS server is set to Google's own DNS servers. We need to change this to the IP address of the domain controller. If we open up a command prompt on the domain controller, we can type IP config, and this will give us the IP address right here of the domain controller. So this is the IP that we need to enter for all of these steps. Now with the DNS server change, I'm just going to hit save. Next, we need to disable PFSense's own built-in DNS server. To do this, we go to the Services tab and then DNS Resolver. And we're going to uncheck where it says Enable DNS Resolver. And then hit Save. And then we need to apply these changes. The final step is to change the DNS server which is handed out by our DHCP server on the PFSense machine. To do this, we're going back to the Services tab and then going to DHCP Server. Here, we can see that the DNS server is set to the IP address of the PFSense machine. We simply need to change this to the IP address of the domain controller. And then all we have to do is hit save again. At this point, we've made all of the changes we need to make. If we go back to our domain controller and do an IP config release and renew, We should now be able to ping the demsec.local domain, which we can. We're getting a reply from the domain controller. From now on, all clients on our network will receive the IP address of the domain controller and will be able to join the domain successfully.